everyone welcome back to my channel it's me again gail and i would like to greet everybody a happy new year before we continue with the video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and click that notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload new videos just like this one so finally i'm able to make this cost of living alone here in japan video for the year 2022 the first ever video that i uploaded was in 2019 i'm pretty sure yeah my first year here in japan so if you haven't seen that one please click the cards or the description box if i can put that one there so yeah i'm excited and i am a little bit nervous because i rarely talk about money here on my channel and i know money topics are you know a little bit private but i would like to give everybody an idea on how much i really spend before that again another intermission number a big shout out to anna luisa who is currently sponsoring this part of the video so this necklace that i got here and these pair of earrings is also from Ana Luisa. So if you don't know what Ana Luisa is, it is a New York based jewelry company which promotes sustainability. And I have worked with Ana Luisa for the past one and a half years, perhaps. Yes, and I've always, always loved their pieces. So let me just quickly show you the three pieces that I got. So the first one, I am already wearing this. This is a Soryaz necklace so you can see it has a very dainty butterfly necklace and it's really cute and perfect for everyday look the next one that i got is this necklace i love this i've been eyeing on this one for the longest time so this is the isabel necklace which is a uh, freshwater pearl and 14k gold plated on sterling silver. Yes. This is so cute. Oh, nahulog. The last piece is this. The Saya Mother of Pearl necklace. Again, it's really dainty and it's really perfect for everyday look or you just want to dress up and put an element to your outfit wow and again thank you so much Anna Luisa for sponsoring this part of the video for more details please check out their website which I will be putting the link on the description box and they are actually doing a Valentine's sale so if you want to give your loved ones or a special someone a perfect gift then grab their sale up to 40% off so let us go to the big topic money topic how much do i pay or how much is my cost of living alone here in japan this is really a quick video i'll just give you a run through of all the expenses that i normally pay here in japan so let us start with the first one my rent so currently, I am living in a shared house. Yes, I just moved here in my new city. So currently, I'm paying 45000 for my rent, and that already includes the utilities. And take note, that is unlimited. I use my heater all the time whenever I'm at home, and I love it. And I can use the water anytime I want. I can do my laundry any time of the week without worrying how much i will be paying for the utilities because it's fixed so yeah that's cool and on my first year i actually paid forty three thousand for my rent for my apartment and utilities for about ten thousand so this one is still cheaper yay okay the next one is my health insurance Currently, I am paying 13377 or let's just round that off to 14,000 yen compared to my first year, which was only 2,000 pesos. I mean, 2,000 yen. So, that is really a big increase. Welcome to Japan. 
the next one for my pension i am paying twenty three thousand seven hundred ninety monthly guys i pay that monthly ganito ka mahal dito sa japan but still life must go on okay next one for my income tax i pay 1390 yen or 1400 a month and lastly for my employment insurance i pay 753 yen so all of those things that i mentioned earlier are actually deducted from my salary per month and right now i am already paid every 25th of the month compared to my first year which was every 20th of the month so i am still getting paid once a month which is still a challenge because again i have to budget everything for the entire month oh well that's life adulting life <laughs> So now let's go to my monthly budget for the rest of the expenses or the things that I normally spend my money on. So the next one will be my food or my groceries. So during my first year, I availed the school lunch of the school because I was an ALT at that time. But now I am no longer availing that because the school that I am working for right now doesn't actually have a school lunch system so it's a big challenge on my part as well because i'm not the best in the kitchen i don't cook every single day so it's really exhausting thinking of what food i'm going to eat for lunch no actually for breakfast for lunch and for dinner every day but it's fine i'm still surviving <laughs> So yeah, normally I budget about 20,000 yen a month. So per week, I try, I try my best to spend 4,000 for my groceries. So that's 4 times 4, that's 16,000. And I have 4,000 left for, you know, emergencies whenever I feel lazy and I want to go out and eat out. So yeah. The next one will be for my transportation. For my transportation, I budget about 15,000 yen per month. That already includes, you know, my expenses going to and from work and my travels. Especially now that I'm living in this area, like there are a lot of places that I could go to. I could go to Nara, to Kyoto, to Kobe in just, what, an hour or so? So yeah, it's fun to live here. I am actually enjoying my new life. Wow, new life. So yes. And oh, also, I would like you to take note that all my transportation expenses for work are actually reimbursed by the company. Next one will be my Wi-Fi or my phone bill. I normally pay about 5,000 yen per month. Next will be subscriptions so currently i am subscribed to netflix because netflix is life and it's the only thing that keeps me sane not no actually it's not the only thing that keeps me sane it's one of the things that is keeping me sane here and i also pay for icloud <laughs> so that's about 2600 per month so lastly, my skincare. Wow. Yes, guys, I always include that in my budget because skincare is also life. So it's very important to take care of your skin because aging is real, you know? So I budget about 6,000 yen every two to three months. So yeah, not bad, right? And for makeup, I don't really buy makeup a lot. I rarely wear makeup. I only wear makeup when I have time or when I go out at school. I don't wear makeup. I just wear powder and lip balm or lip gloss. Not lip gloss. Just lip balm. Yeah, really. So that's it. Please do the math. I did not add them up or sum them up. So yeah, those are the things that I am paying right now. Currently, it's updated. It's 2022 and adulting is real. I am 
overwhelmed sometimes but again i am still thankful because despite everything that's happening around me i am still blessed to have my job and to be able to pay for all the bills and as well as support my family in the philippines oh i actually forgot the very last thing my remittance yeah <laughs> that is the biggest part of my expenses as well so for my remittance every month i normally send money to my mom and that's quite personal sorry guys i wanted to share that but then i realized it is a personal topic so i might as well not say it here on my channel i guess that's it see it's really a short video and i hope this video gave you an idea of the expenses here in japan and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet like this video and let us talk in the comment section and i'll see you again next time thank you so much for watching bye Baby now, let me warm you up Baby please, let me love you much Come on, come on with me